To calculate the pH for a weak acid, such as nitrous acid, we'll need to use the Ka value. This is necessary because we can no longer make the assumption that the acid is going to completely dissociate in water. In fact, with nitrous acid, what we'll find is that some of the HNO2 molecules will remain bonded together, while others break apart to form hydrogen ions and nitrite ions. So we can write the Ka expression for this process as follows. Uh, we can calculate the hydrogen ion concentration, which will also be equal to the nitrite ion concentration. Uh, we'll divide that by the amount of HNO2 remaining in the bonded state uh, to calculate our Ka value. This can be simplified to x times x or x squared over whatever the original concentration of the acid was, subtract the amount of dissociation which has occurred. We've substituted in the values for our Ka expression. The Ka value was 6.0 times 10 to the minus 4. We have x squared representing the hydrogen ion and nitrite ions that are going to be produced by the dissociation. And then we have the original concentration of the nitrous acid, which was 0 0.100 molar, and we're subtracting from that the amount of acid which has dissociated. My next step is to go ahead and multiply by 0 0.100, subtract x, on both sides of the equation. Now what this will produce is the following. So we can see we developed the following relationship, 6.0 times 10 to the minus 5 minus 6.0 times 10 to the minus 4x is equal to x squared. My end goal is I really want to solve for x because x should tell me the hydrogen ion concentration which would allow me to calculate pH by taking negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So how am I supposed to solve this for x? The answer lies in the fact that this is a quadratic relationship, so I want to set the whole thing equal to 0. Next, I want to keep in mind the general form for a quadratic expression. Which is ax squared plus bx plus c. So I want to take advantage of this information to figure out what I'm going to insert into my quadratic equation. we're going to want to use the following values to solve our quadratic equation. A will be equal to 1, B will be equal to 6.0 times 10 to the minus 4, and C will be equal to 6.0 times 10 to the minus 5. So we use a quadratic equation to solve for this problem. When we solve this quadratic, we actually wind up finding two different possible solutions for x, the first being 7.4 times 10 to the minus 3 molar, the second being negative 8.0 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Now, because molarity cannot be expressed in negative values, we can conclude that 7.4 times 10 to the minus 3 molar is the correct answer. a negative molarity would require either that we have negative moles, which is an impossibility, or a negative volume, another thing which also can't be possible.